to be
Now, there is a song that says, Look what Jesus did when he washed me. Look at your neighbor and say,
Somebody say amen. amen. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you are blessed and highly favored. Yes. I give you permission to go around and just shake someone's hand and say, you are blessed and highly favored. Blessed. You are still sitting down. I give you permission to walk around, just touch someone's hand and just say, you are blessed and highly favored. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. and highly favored. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank you, Brother, Jesus. You're blessed and highly favored. God bless you. Hallelujah. I never expected to be here today, but by God's grace that I am here. Can I hear somebody say amen? amen. Uh, I lost my grandfather 
Oh. Amen. He went to be with the Lord last weekend. Amen. And it has been a tiring week. I've been having phone calls from everywhere. And they were asking me, you are still in England, you have not come. I say, by God's grace and God's time, I'll be there. So I want you to commit me in prayer. I am leaving tonight. Amen. After the service, I've got a plane to catch. Can I hear somebody say amen? amen? But I know God is going to do great things in this place. Can I hear somebody say amen? I tried and I told them, is it a must to come? Now, I am the eldest grandson in the Juma's family. So I have to be there. I've got a lot of responsibilities. Amen. And uh, tradition expects me to be there. Can I hear somebody say amen? I represent, uh, my father was the first one, amen, and uh, my brother was my eldest one, but he has gone to be with the Lord, so I take their position. Can I hear somebody say amen? amen? So pray for me, the ones who are not from Africa, you will not understand, but the ones who are coming from Africa, you will understand. Amen. Is it not true? It's very important. If I am not there, they even told me it's an abomination if you're not going to come. I'll say, look, I'll come by the grace of God. So keep me in prayer. I am not going for three months. I am not going for four months. I am going for maximum four weeks and I'll be back with you. Can I hear somebody say amen? amen? But I know you have got able men and women of God who will be able to propel the gospel and see it going through and see the power of God being manifested in the lives of thy people. Can I hear somebody say amen? amen. So pray for me. Keep me in prayer. Anyone who would want to bless me, you can go ahead, amen. I know this church is a church of love. Can I hear somebody? Have I not been a good pastor? Amen. Uh, I can't hear you. Yes. Have I not been a good pastor? Amen. Have I not labored in the ministry of God? Amen. 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 I always give. Can I hear somebody say amen? Amen. I've labored in this family. Can I hear somebody say amen? amen. And uh, it's good also to show in the, in the life of your man of God. And I hear somebody say amen. amen. It is not a sin. Hello? Look at your neighbor and say neighbor, it's not a sin. It's not a sin. Amen. When there was a time when I used to go, who oh, was it Kadi who bought for me a ticket? The other time. Yeah, Sister Kadi. I used, I used not to buy my ticket. The members of this church used to buy it. Oh, you are going, okay, tell us the date you're going and coming back. But I found God. Amen. But God also is going to bless you and you will reach in those levels. And I hear somebody say amen. amen. Don't worry about it, everything is sorted. But if you want to be a blessing unto me when I'm going, you can send me that it is well. And I hear somebody say amen. amen. And pray for me. The most important thing is pray for me. Yes. Can I hear somebody say amen? Amen. Now prayer has no boundaries. No Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, prayer has no boundaries. Amen. Look at the other neighbor and say, neighbor, prayer has no boundaries. Prayer has no boundaries. And I hear somebody say, amen. Amen. And by the grace of God, God will take me and God will bring me back to you. Amen. The people who are from Africa, you will know that not, not all the people who smile with you are actually for you. Yes. They boil, they kill, they boil, they spread. You understand what I'm saying? Some of them will not want you even for you to return. Some of them, they do what is known as food magic. Have you ever heard something of that? Which part? A lot, is it not true? Some will want even to harm you. If witchcraft fails, some will want to harm you physically. Is it not true? Yes. Some will even, even make allegations, lies, so that they can tarnish your name. Is it not true? You are from Africa, you know, sir. When they see the son of so and so progressing or the daughter of so and so progressing, the jealousy that comes in, in <coughs> to the never And I hear somebody say, man. But by the grace of God, as the hills around Jerusalem, so shall the echo of the Lord surround you. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. The Lord shall stand with his people. The Lord shall fight for his people. And as you pray for me, I also pray for you. And I hear somebody say, man. Now, today we are going to receive from God. Look at our neighbor and say, neighbor, we are going to receive from God. Hallelujah. Uh, I am leaving and Bishop Otabun is also going back home. 
Amen. You are going on Jesus. Yes. See, I'm living tonight, you are living on Jesus. <laughs> I never thought that I'm going to I'm going to live as quick as this, but the Lord had already planned. And I hear somebody say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He's going back to Wadi. He's going back to Nigeria. So pray for him and strengthen him as well. Amen. And if you have something to bless him, bless him. It is good to bless men of God. And I hear somebody say amen. amen. Now, today we are going to receive from God. How many people want to receive from God? How many people are ready to receive from God? Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, are you ready to receive from God? Are you ready? Hallelujah. We are going to receive from God. God has, has anointed and God has blessed one of the pastors of this house. Amen. And I uh, would like to invite our dear pastor, uh, our dear pastor, Pastor Arnold, God bless you as you well. Give the Lord mighty hand clap at you. Amen. I am there, you know. Father God, and 
sister and uh, uh, brother Simon coming from Manchester. It was so far for them to come. And uh, uh, Bishop and you know his wife and uh, our elders who came in from uh, for uh, over You know, it's so far. Because on your way, I believe you left behind many churches. But you make your way here. I believe there is a blessing, but that blessing, it is not man blessing, it's God blessing. Amen. I don't want to keep you, you know, so long. I just, because I don't like, you know, to, to, to you know, uh, talk so long, long. I just want to give you just a piece, and what I give you when you test it, and you find it good, you can ask more. But then to give you a big ball and you eat and to leave it, you know, a, a, some for me, no. Today I want to uh, present to you the six keys to activate God's promises in your life. I say six keys to activate God's promises in your life. And I always say that to, to, to us and everything that you have to do, practice is thing that make things perfect. If you go into school, you study whatever things you study, maybe mechanic. After studying, you have your diploma, and if you get your diploma, you just go in your living room, whatever you put, you know, you hang it there, and you never one day go back to check a car, to check a tire, to check oil, to know, you know, to 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 do the fillings, to take up the oil, to put oil, to check, you know, that will after a time. What will happen, you just have a certificate. You just have a name that you are a mechanic, a mechanician. But fix a car, you are not able to do it. But it's not because you are not a mechanician. You are a mechanician. You study it in a great school, a good, you know, have good teachers, or maybe the best teachers of the world teach you. Because you don't practice, your finger will not be able to do. Whatever thing you say, if you go in the kitchen, you, you go in the cook, you know, they teach you really how to cook, how to do things. It's after study, after a time, you never practice what you learn. A certain time will happen, you not. Even you go drive, some people they, they have a license, they drive, they have a car. But after a period of time, you didn't drive. After a period of time, when you go in the car, it's that, it's that you feel like you just start. Because you lose the practice. You lose practice. It's so that it is good. And whatever things you do, if you want, as you start, you can be perfect. You, your faith will move a mountain, but it is not today and tomorrow. You have to take to pray and fasting. You have to fast, you have to pray, you have to read your Bible. You have to start to prophesy over people's life, to tell people, I know God will make it for you. You have to know to start practicing. And one day, a big mountain may begin will come in your way, and you will say, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We have a 
and the Bible, the example of, of David. David is one of the examples. When you see the time came for David when his father sent him to when food to go and see his brothers was in war. The Bible tells told us that as David reached and David saw what was happening, and David decided to go and fight with Goliath. And the Bible tells us when Saul the king, he took his coming, he put on David, he dressed David. When he put his sword in David's hand, the Bible said when David to lift up his foot, David cannot. David cannot. Why? Because David never practiced to fight with some of garment blood like this. The hammer too heavy for David. The weapon that he have in hand too heavy to fight. And even when David reached in front of Goliath, who came with him with so with uh, you know all kind of thing, David said, I came unto you. I came before you in the name of the in the name of God. In the name of God. Amen. Then one thing I, I, I like in David's declaration is when David said to the people. When I was in the farm, you know, take care of the sheep of my, you know, my, my father. Lions mm -hmm. come, horse come, whatever animal came, I fight. And when they try to get a bear to get my a sheep, I fight, I hold them in the mud, I kill them. Yes. And I get the animal from them. That show us is some kind of experience David had been before. Yes. Is that experience you have with God today mm -hmm. can make after 10 years, after 20 years, when you face some situation, you can look back and say, for where God brought me from, today I know he will not leave me there to die. But to have some kind of experience, you have to practice it day after, after day. It is a day, daily basic. It is a daily thing. It is not something you just wake up and do. It's why it's so that sometimes I say to people in the teaching, when someone is just accept Christ as Savior and Lord, you don't just push him to say God is your King of King, the Lord of Lord. Yeah, the person just accept Christ. You don't understand mm -hmm. that when you say yeah, God yeah. is your King of King, the Lord of Lord. It is that. Yeah. But it's that that kind of thought is too big for you. No, you just think that God is your master. Is your master, is your savior. You are starting that thing by prayer, by prayer, by prayer. You really realize after the time that you will tell him that God is your shepherd. He will take care of your situation. Because the person just coming from a background, you know, just come there is a, some situation, whatever how you explain it, you will not understand. And we face that situation is day after day as a Christian people. Lord Bishop just said to us when he said that as a as a grandson in the family, Juma family, he said that he have to be there in the funeral. But one of the things that he just said, he said that if you are not come from where. If confirm, you will never understand. And it is true. You will never understand that. 
For me, I think that is a simple the person that I can even quote the scripture to say, the Bible say, let the dead, you know, bury dead, let this, that, let this happen. The person, the, the person already dead, even you dead, you will not know. You are not dead, you will not know. I see it like this. And he said that the people even say, if you are not dead, it is a cause. That is like this, the people believe. And what the Bible again say, the Bible say that when you see somebody, de depend how you see somebody fail, you must, you know, agree with him just to make peace between brother and what? Because if in a that we'll just fight with you and say, Bishop, you will not go. We want you there. We love to see you there. You will not go. But what will happen? It will be a fighting between us eh? and him. Yes, it's so that I want to tell you that the keys, I want to talk today, the six keys, as I said to you, is a something you are accustomed to hear. But if you, I just to admonish you today, my brother and sister, is to take time to meditate. Is to take time to make the word of God become a a, 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 a food for you, a meal for you. Like you wake up in the morning, you know you have to brush your teeth. You know you have to bathe when you wake up. You know you have to eat. Yeah. When you know you have to put gas in your car, you have to take care of your situation. It's the same way you must take care of your soul. You must take care of your spirit. Your spirit. After that, all you do, you just walk by flesh. But it is not by spirit. And this morning when I came here, brother shared to me a word like this when Jesus Christ said about with that, the word of God, people who, who Christian people, you will not live by bread alone. But you will live by all scripture, all things coming from the mother of God. But things that coming from the mouth of God, it is in the Bible. It is in the Bible. But when you come in church, you just come in church, you hear the word of God. From today, you leave the Bible, or if you use your phone, if you use your phone, your Bible is in your phone, you don't even hold your Bible. Nothing, what you do? Monday, you know with the Bible. Tuesday, you know with the Bible, you don't meditate. But you still eat. You still remember that you are hungry when you do something. Eh? Yeah. I heard people who are working, but after three or four hours, they say, hey, I get four hours, I didn't eat nothing. I'm going to take something right now. But they forget that from morning until five o'clock, they didn't pray yet. And when you talk to them about that, they say, God knows every, everything. That is the excuse. God knows everything. Yeah, God understands. You can be big physically, financially, or whatever, socially. People know you everywhere. Things work for you. But spiritually, when you first know to fight with the principalities, when the demon attack you on your dream, demon attack you in your business, demon attack you everywhere, you will not recognize that is a demon. Because you just walk by, by, by sight. Right. Mm -hmm. But you don't walk by spirit of God. No spirit of God guide. First thing I want to, to say today is be confident that God is near you. Amen. Amen. That is the first blessing as a children of God. You must really confident that God is close to you. Whatever situation coming in your way, God is close to you. There are some situations you are going through. You will 
Reverend, even your own believers, brothers and sisters, will tell you this kind of thing. It is not simple. This kind of situation, you have to do something with it. All kind of thought is a thought to drive you far from God. To make you believe that God is so far that whatever how you cry, God cannot <coughs> hear you. But in your deep, deep, deep more that you are, you must remember. Peter said, when we was in sin, God Almighty sent his son Jesus Christ and died, rescue us. That means it's not now today in your situation. Even when you pray, you don't see the result coming. That means God, it is not in your business. Many Christian people fail when they face what you call adversity. When trouble comes in their way, it's not for them. If God was with us, that kind of thing will should not happen. I heard believers, I heard people who said it. Yeah, they say it. And is after a time you see them confess, they say, hey. Do you know that what's happened is what the hand of God moving for me? Let's read the Bible in Psalm 27 to see what God Almighty, what he, 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 Psalm is saying. Psalm 27 verse 1. He said, the Lord is my light and my salvation. He said, whom shall I fear? The, the Lord is the swift hold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Who shall I fear? And you know the situation of David. How, how wrong David has to run for his life. Trouble David faced in his life as a young boy. And you know well the story of the Bible. What happened to Joseph, young boy, God already put in his mind a dream. Gone when he had to face all disaster calamity in his life. Today we couldn't say this man has done something wrong. He had done something wrong, cause he go to prison. But God is light. God shine the way for him. God make way for him. Even in the prison, the presence of God is with, is with him. My brother, sister, I want to know, have confidence. Have confidence in the word of God and in yourself. Amen. To say, I am not going to bow down before that situation. Mm -hmm. There are some arguments to say, I'm not going to sign it because it is not in the word of God. It is not appropriate to the word of God. That thing that is a change my soul is a give my soul to demon and to accept some kind of thing. I'm, I'm not going to do it because God is with me. I know he is here. If someone today, you are praying for something solo, you seeking for something to get something done, it cannot be done. I tell you today, it is not because God so far he cannot hear you. God is near you. Have the confidence. Mm. Because we cannot see God. 
is, is not physically present with us, it's hard sometimes to recognize that God is always around us. Because you cannot sin, you cannot put your hands on him. Because when the tears come in your eyes, drop on your pillow, maybe you think that God's eyes didn't see or cannot see you. Just think that his neck is one of God's greatest promises. No God. God is here, my brother. Knows that God is closer to us. The second promise of God is allows God to hold you in his hand. Amen. Amen. First, you must know God is near you. Secondly, you must know you, your life, your body, your mind, your spirit, it is in the hand of God Almighty. And when you know that your hands, when you know that you, all yourself, all your entire being, is in the hand of God, as you just read in, in, in Psalm 27, who can fail you? What man can do to you? As, as he said in Psalm 116. What man can do to you when you are in the hands of God Almighty? Is that confidence you must have? The same way some people, some people, they, they, they beat their chest and to say, me. Sometimes, is that the Bible says you have to be birthed on the Lord? If there is something you can trust, is the word of God. God said, "Is hold you, brother Simon, Bishop." God said, "You hold you in His hand, in the palm of His hand. Amen. Whatever things coming in your way, whatever the thing coming in your way, as the Bible says, just wait on the Lord." If you don't take pressure of men, you don't take what men say. The report to trust is the report of the Lord. Because whatever men say, that it can fail. It can happen today. But tomorrow, the same men say the same. Say another thing, but it don't happen. But whatever things God say, whatever thing God say, it will happen. Just wait on the Lord. And when you wait on the wait on the Lord, you know what will happen to your life when you wait on the Lord. Don't watch to do things, have patience. It's for that the Bible says patience is a virtue. That is a thing that the Christian people who cannot live and you don't have patience. Is that the same church in, 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 in Isaiah 41? The verse 10. Let's do it. Isaiah 41. Isaiah 41, verse 10. Is that the word of God saying? He says, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you with my right hand. Watch your right hand. That is the promise of God. That is the promise of God. Your life is in God's hand. Whatever headquake, whatever war, whatever fighting, whatever how it is, your life is in God's hand. You must wake up in the morning. When you wake up in the morning, I know maybe it will not happen every day, but try it. When you wake up in the morning, before you even put your feet on the ground, as your eyes open, as your eyes open, and start to speak positive things on your life, and start to speak the, the promise of God over your life. You wake up in the morning, I know. You have so, you have bill to pay, you have this, you have that to pay. You don't know what to do. But if we wake up in the 
testimony, you say, Lord, I know. Your promise is true. You say that you will not leave me, you will not forsake me. I know I am in your hand. I know everything I need, you will supply. I guarantee you, if you do it, you do it to participate in your life. One day, people will supply to ask you, but what's happened to you? That is the way you will. You don't need to tell people you are a Christian people. You don't need to go out shouting, I am a son of God. No. People will ask you, but what happened to you? For trouble I know you face it, for things I know, and you still have a smile in your face? That will happen. That is a spiritual thing. Hallelujah. Amen. God promised, he said that he will. Even when you don't know it, but God is carrying us in the palm of his hand. Yes. Amen. Even your two feet walking day after day, but you must know in your mind, as I'm walking, I'm, I'm driving. But I am. It's not only your, 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 your soul, no? But all your body is in the palm of God's hand. You remember when the children of Israel left, left Egypt? They have to face the Red Sea. They have to fight it. They have to do this. You know what God said? God said, it's on my shoulder. Mm. Amen, brother. Amen. God said, it is on my shoulder, I carry you from Egypt to put you. And we, we know the story. They are fighting all, fighting all this. But God Almighty is sitting different. Yeah. But if you look after the flesh, you cannot see. Mm. Because things, flesh, and spiritual things, the Bible says, one against other. You cannot put spiritual thing in a, in a, a, a physical a, a, a things in the same pot. It cannot mix, my brothers and sisters. That cannot mix. That is the promise of God. You must know that you are in God's hand. And the third promise is the trust that God is with you wherever you go. Some people think they can do things, hiding themselves for brother don't see, they hiding themselves for sister don't see. If they see you, they go run. In present you, there are some words they will not say. But when they are in their own business, they don't see Brother Simon is not here. You understand? Hey, they thought that they can say whatever thing they want to say with them all. And the Bible says the same month you praise the Lord. You come in there, you sing in praise, in praise, in praise in the Lord. And when you go home, all kind of word cursing people. That cannot be. That cannot be your portion. Trust God is with you wherever you go. In whatever way you go, you go to work, you must know God is with you. Pastor will be on the plane, he must know whatever it is. Not only is in God's hand, you know God is there with him, but it's not that God is sitting close to him. Yeah. You must believe that. If you cannot trust, if you cannot have confidence in that, I cannot say to you that you are not a child of God, but by the way, you, you will feel weak when things in life face you. According to Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. Let's read the word of God. Joshua. Hallelujah. Let's read Joshua 1, verse 9. That the word of God say. 
Yes, they have a night coming in you. Be strong and, be strong and courageous. Be not do not be terrified or afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. My sister and brother, wherever you go, God is with you. God is with you. And it's all that you see Jesus Christ say to the disciple, I will send you a comforter. It's not a comforter. It's all that, you know, sometimes I cannot really say people uh, uh, things not, not good. Sometimes when we, we have a, a, a custom, we say, Holy Spirit, come. I don't have a problem. I don't say Holy Spirit, come in the whole person, but it depends how you, you feel. But Holy Spirit is always there. We, we trust. Yeah. You are always, it is a loss. That's true, man. I'm good. Mm -hmm. That's true. It is in us, it is in us. Wherever you go, Holy Spirit there. He never leaves us. No, you don't need to tell him to come because it's not far. Amen. Mm -hmm. A young believer maybe will think with ask questions because they're, they're, even they are not, not a, a Christian people. But God, Spirit, you know, a, a, and, and the sense is knowledge is in all of men because say I create people with my image. Some people will ask you, well, I don't understand. There are people say that God dwelling them. Holy Spirit dwelling. How they call it, tell him to come. That means Holy Spirit far is somewhere. And they start to look to where, where the Holy Spirit will come in. No. You will start to give him things. Holy Spirit will give you things. I know you are here with me. I know I'm in your hand. I give you thanks. I give you the praise. I give you the glory. And you start to worship him and know that he is in you. When you speak according to the word of God, the enemy have to go far from you. Amen. Amen. Because the enemy knows the word of God. Anytime he feels that you, you, you caught the scripture, you know, you don't get it right, he come, he attack you. Because he say, hey, the, 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 this man don't know. Because if you have, if you have uh, something in your hand, let us say you have a goal in your hand. You don't even know how many, how many, how it is. If you really a good goal or whatever thing, and you go in a shop, you say, "Hey, hey tell this to me. You know, this, this, it is a goal." You will be get lucky if you find a good person, because a good person will tell you, "Yes, that is a goal." And when you wait it, it will give you some money. But some people, you say, "This, what you call good? This is goal." I'm moving, moving. <laughs> and after that, what did he do? He takes his own. Because you have something in your hand, you don't know the value, you don't know what it is. Mm. The that the enemy attack you. If you go in the court to represent someone as a lawyer, if you don't know the court, if you don't know the, your book well, if you don't know how <laughs> ha, the, the other lawyer, will mash you down because you don't know how to defend your client. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like this also when you pray. Truly, when you pray, the enemy heard your prayer. The enemy heard that you start to quote a scripture. You pray like someone who know what you, what you are doing. No, there is a difference. Yes, is that the son, the, 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 the Joshua, when you read Joshua, that God said, I will be. God is with us. God is close to us. Wherever we go, God Almighty will direct us. And the fourth promise is, is allow God to be your refuge. Amen. 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 Is allow God to be your refuge. Too often we forget that God is always right there in our corner. God is our refuge. God covers us. Whatever how it is, God is with us. God covers us. If you are in the palm of God's hands, and it's that is 
said in, in, in Psalm 121, he said, God is not sleep, he is not slumber. His eyes wide open every day, every night over his children. His children. Yes, God is with us. Is that is in Psalm 46, verse 1. He said that God is a present help in time of trouble. Hallelujah. My sister, when you see trouble, come. When you see trouble comes, all instead of you to look at the biggest, at the how wide the trouble, why? Looking to see where you see God, because He said in the in the time of trouble, what He said is this a present, present help. Look for God help. Yes, look for God help. Let us say now, if today Pastor say one of us, okay, let's go. Let us say arrangement may you go, you go over there with Pastor, you know. But his Pastor was born, you know. Who who? All the people you know over there. He said, Pastor Osborne, that you? Let's say, not the time you wish now in the friendly life, moving people walk up and down, up and down, up and down, and you don't see. You, you, when you look so, you don't see nobody you know. When you look so, you don't see people. Who are you looking for? Tell me, if you understand what I'm saying, who are you looking for? You will be looking for Pastor Osborne. Because his Pastor Osborne go over there with you. You don't know nobody else. That in any step you make, you make sure that Pastor Osborne is close to you because he has to guide you. That you must know in the time of trouble, when you see trouble comes in your way, first thing to do is looking for the help that God promised in his word. Because he said that he is a present help in the time of trouble. A present help. It is not a past or it's not a future. But it is the present help in the time of trouble. Amen. We have two more to go in. The fifth one, he said, remember that the peace of God pass all understanding. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In the midst of trouble, you must know God Almighty. He will send peace. Yes. And Jesus Christ said, Peace I give unto you. He said, It's not peace that like the world gives. But peace that God gives us is a peace that He pass all understanding. That means people cannot understand what kind of peace that is. When you face your situation, you still stand. Things that people think now you have to, to run mad and you're still alive today is just because of the peace that God has put in your heart. Is that the same Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7? Let's just read it. Philippians 4, 6 and 7. Hallelujah. Philippians 4, 6 and 7. Yes, the word of God say, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition or supplication with thanksgiving. He said, present your request to God. Did he say present your request to people? No. God can direct you to someone. When you finish to work, Present your request to God, you can die ready. But some people they run to people first yes. yeah. before they run to God. <clears throat> but the word of God said to us, bring your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your heart yes. in your mind in Christ Jesus. That is the thing we have to look in for. When you see a one you, when you hear the news, I always say the news that you heard in the TV and the radio, wherever what people call you and say to you, 
them enough to put you down. But glory be to God. When you know the will of God, He will help you to face this situation. Amen. And the, city, the last one is allow God to take care of things in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Things that you are facing, don't try to, to, you know, to maybe do it by yourself, looking a, a, a short cord to make things done. No. Take your time. The one who make way, the one who is the way, the one who is the truth, he will make a way. Sometimes it's that we sing. We sing in the songs, but sometimes when you come to church, you sing in songs. Sometimes when you wish home, take a little time, meditate. You sing the song, say, God will make a way. Where you seem to be no way. Oh, but anytime you want to go, Papa, that thing that I done in that. Hey, what is that you say? You say God will make a way where you seem to be no way. Yes. Seem to be no way mean that means I don't know what to do. Seem to be no way mean I don't have the, the next step. I don't know how to make it. Is that? You only have 500 and something proper in front of you for 3,000, 5,000, 10,000. Is that this time you must know that God will make a way where it seems to be no way? And sometimes, my brother and sister, God closed the door and full of you. Do you know why God closed the door and full of you? It's not every door, not God open for you. No. Sometimes God closed the door in front of you. Because there is a way it seems good, it seems pleasant to you. And you say, this, ah, this kind of thing has to be my way to get you. And when God says you go in to put yourself in trouble, he sends his angel and he closed the door. When you close the door, it's just for you to, to make another turn in your life. But sometimes, because in the midst of the trouble, and when I say that, don't take on when I speak, that means I am the one who perfect. I'm a, I am also at school of God and the, the training also. Sometimes things come in, in your way, you don't really see what to do. And sometimes I think I say, God, <laughs> you, you're looking so, it seems that this, I just remember, it's like you forget if God is right there himself. No. Until you look, <laughs> to knock yourself, to say, to say, Lord, wake up, wake up, where you are, wake up, wake up. Mm -hmm. And what do you do? You just look so good. I don't know what to do. Okay. God, what, what, what I'm going to do? church say this week we will fast some people they fast on still if church past five years never say we will fast they never fast is it true what i'm telling you there are some people that will not fast on still church say we will fast yeah. and one church say we will fast they have all kind of skews Yes. You must take time to fight. Jesus Christ, he faced the cross by praying and fasting. On still he wish at a certain time the thing so hard for him to bear the cross for me and you. We say, Father, I don't think I can make it, but according to your will, not my will, but your will. Yes. My brothers and sisters, is that the Bible says, allow God to take care of things in your, in your life. Let's 
read this last verse to finish. Luke chapter 12, verse 22 and 26. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 12, 22 and 26. Then he said to the disciples, There I say unto you, do not worry about your life. Yeah. Then you will eat. It's not about the body, what you will put on. Life is more than food, and the body is more than clothing. Consider the reverence for the neither so nor reap, uh, which have neither storehouse nor barn. Hallelujah. God feeds them. How much more uh, value are you than the birds? And which of you, by worry, can add one kill? So we said, Stitcher. Stitcher, if you yeah. there are not able to do the least, why are you anxious for the rest? Yes. Yes. And you can start. That means the God wants us to believe, trust, and have confidence that God Almighty, he has the final power, the eternal power to take care of you. What a situation. Your worries will not change the time. No way. Your worries, he make you to see the situation more bigger than you think it, it is. It's so that when you see you are in the midst of trouble, go in the wall of God. Put yourself totally in the wall of God. God Almighty, He has the power to change things. Amen. And when Jesus Christ said this to the disciples at the time we are living now, there is a big, 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 big difference. Because today, I can assure you, you know where your bed will come in. Not you? Mm -hmm. Some of us, before even you come to church, you already have your food. Maybe seen yesterday or last time, you already cook, you have your food. I understand some of us, maybe not. But at least you have, you have something to put in your mouth. But when Jesus spoke that thing there, that is exactly what it is. Imagine at that time where people don't know what to do. God has to tell them, don't worry about any, anything. Don't worry about clothes to wear. Don't worry about shoes to put in your feet. Don't worry about it. But because of the society, the way the society organized against, against us as a believer, that is another sermon. The trick of the enemy to destroy the church. Mm. But by the grace of God, we have again the promises. The enemy wants to destroy the church. It seems that they are 90% ahead right to destroy the church of God. But the whole of God again in this promise said to us, the gate of hell shall not prevail against the church of God. Amen. Remember my sister, my brother, remember, be confident that God is near you. I love God to hold you in his hand. Just believe that you are in the hands of God. Just that God is with you wherever you go. God is with you. I love God, you know, to be your refuge. He is your shelter. He will cover you. Whatever things will happen, but you are in the hand of God. Remember that the peace of God pass all understanding. It is with you. Amen. And know that in whatever situation, God will take care of you. Amen. The price of everything can go high. But if you really trust the Lord, you will be in your car. And when you see the gates turn to, to empty, and you say to yourself, hey, I get two hours, and the guys I have there may be just a 10 minutes. And because you are custom, you believe in God. You will say, Lord, you will bring me where I am. 
and you will speak to the, the, to the car, you say, hey, in the name of Jesus, you will carry me where I'm going. And you will supply to see. You go, you come back with the same difficult thing you see happen in your dash. God bless you. Be with the Lord. With Christ. Amen. 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 That was powerful. Amen. How many people are blessed today? Amen. Amen. How many people are blessed? Let me see by the show. That was I am blessed. I've had you minister before, but this is the most powerful sermon I've had you minister. Is it not true? Yeah, this is the most powerful, profound. And I hear somebody say amen. amen. Yeah, and I thank God uh, is 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 a word that can keep someone. I was going through a very hard patch, and it's like you are speaking to me. Can I hear somebody say amen? amen. I was going through a very difficult time, uh, amen, and I did not know what to do. And uh, then, then you you touched because uh, I was reading Isaiah 41 yesterday. Uh, go Isaiah 41, and you just touched it. Isaiah 41. Yeah, I was reading Isaiah chapter 41. And, uh, and, and I was asking God about things, about my life, and about everything. And, and, and you are just touching things. As of 1 verse 8, and God was speaking to me. We that we are grafted unto Israel, we are a chosen nation, we are a peculiar, a peculiar people. The Bible says, verse 8, are we there? Yes. Wow. What does the Bible say? <laughs> but you, Israel, you are my servant. Jacob, mm -hmm. whom I have chosen. Jacob, whom I have chosen. The seed of Abraham, my now, The Bible says we have been crafted by the blood of Jesus. So we are in the generation of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Now it says, and um, but you, you are my servant. Jacob, whom I have chosen. God has chosen us. Can I hear somebody say amen? amen. The seed of Abraham, my friend. Mm -hmm. And then it continues and says, The whom I have taken from the ends of the earth. When I look at my life, I see testimony. Mm -hmm. And I was even thinking to myself, How many battles have you won? It was not because of you, it was because of God. Amen. amen. Can I hear somebody say amen? He says now, God took you from the ends of the earth. This one came and you saw the victory. The other one came and you saw the victory. And this other one came. And now this, with the testimony that is behind you of what God has done, what is before you? <laughs> you will overcome in Jesus' name. Amen. Now he continues and says, and I have called you from the chief man thereof. And said unto thee, You are my servant, and I, God, I have chosen you, have chosen you, and have not cast you away. Come on. Can I hear somebody say that? It's one thing to choose yourself, it's one thing to be chosen by people, but it's another thing to be chosen by God. Amen. When God chooses you, He places anointing upon you. Come on. What is anointing? Unction to function. Can I hear somebody say amen? Yeah. Now it continues and says, Fear you not, for I am with you. Yeah. Yeah. Be not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter what comes my way. As long as I am with God and I am in God, amen. victory is assured. Can I hear somebody say amen? amen. Can I hear somebody say amen? amen? Behold, all they that find themselves against you shall be ashamed. Anyone who wants to see shame upon you, there are people whom you have worked hard on. There are people whom you have placed everything upon them. Can I hear somebody say amen? amen. There are people who are waiting to see you done for. That's what God is saying. And I hear somebody say amen. And some of them you will be shocked at people whom you have helped and stood with. He says, and continues, says, uh -huh, Behold, all they who are incensed against thee shall be ashamed. And, yes. and God says, And I shall confound them. They shall be as nothing. They shall be as nothing. 
And then he has tried in you. There are ones whom you know that strive against you, but there are ones whom you don't know they strive against you. They talk behind you. They fight you in secret. They say this. Now God says, I will confound them. And they shall perish. Yes, and they will perish. perish. Come on. You know, sometimes you may think you're fighting a man. But you are fighting God himself. Yes. Because a man who chooses himself as young or as old or as this or this, that is okay. But a man whom God has chosen, there is anointing that comes. Amen. Amen. And I that is the reason why I am very careful. Can I hear somebody say amen? Yeah. I just don't throw words in here. And I hear somebody say amen. Mm -hmm. I pray for each and every one. And I stand with each and every one. Because I know you cannot fight God's anointed. David says he had the opportunity to destroy Saul. Yes, come on. But he says, I will not touch right. yeah. the God anointed. anointed. Yes. God anointed. Anointing can build, your anointing can strike. Yes. Mm -hmm. As foolish as one can look. But respect the anointing of God as well. Yes. Can I hear somebody say amen? Amen. Can I hear somebody say amen? Amen. And it continues and says, verse 12, you will seek me and you will find them. Mm -hmm. you shall see them. Even them that contended with you, they that war against you, you shall be as, they shall be as nothing, nothing. and that thing, thing of none. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold you in the right hand, saying unto thee, fear not. Yes. I will help you. Fear not. Fear not. I will help you. Let that be your prayer for you today. Yes, yes. Let that be your testimony for you today. Yes. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, fear not. Fear not. I can't hear you. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, fear not. Fear not. Say with authority, call your name and say, fear not. Fear not. Fear not. Now, call your name and say, fear not. Fear not. Fear not. Talk with authority and say, fear not. For the Lord God is with you. Somebody say, the Lord God is with me. You are not saying, you say with power, the Lord God is with me. Somebody is going through a difficult time. You are going through a rough patch. The Lord God is with you. Amen. You don't know what to think. Some of you are going through heartbreaks and heart pains. Some of you are going through public shame. Some of you are going through things that you cannot even open up unto people. You can only speak unto God. You go to bed, people see you. Oh, are you okay? You smile, but behind that smile, there is a broken smile. Yeah. God is saying, fear not. Fear not. I am with you. I am with you. Can I speak to somebody? Yeah. Shake somebody and say, neighbor, you still here. Yeah. Shake somebody and say, neighbor, you still here. I am still here. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, the Lord is with you. The Lord is with you. So with authority, the Lord is with you. The Lord is with you. It is well. Stand up on your feet. Amen. 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 Please don't worry. Just give me five minutes because I will not be here. Let's all sit down. I have a word in your heart. The preacher will not just a word. Let's see um, John 16. Just leave it with you. Yeah. But uh, at least to conclude my stay here. And, uh, uh, 1633, what Jesus said there. Uh, the words of Jesus are very mm -hmm. important. So, yes, are we there? John 1633. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Things I have spoken unto you, yeah. that in me you might have peace. Yeah. In the world you shall have tribulation. Yeah. But be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Yeah, you will see that uh, what I know has preached and uh, the, uh, the pastor, the world is full of problems. Yeah. Even when we have solved to this problem, Tomorrow, that the other one going to be abandoned. Mm -hmm. uh, he's saying the world, that's Jesus, that's not Paul. So I'm going home, and I'm going to meet some problem there. Problem. I'm not just going to say I'm going to meet peace, peace. The world cannot have everlasting peace. Mm. We're going to meet problem every day, every yeah. moment. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody say another day, they use the word another challenge. Yeah. Another year, a new, new year is coming. Yeah. Another challenge. So that what they have been preaching, 
we should get ready. And what is important, somebody said, it is not the victory that matters, it is the courage. It is, that's what put by, um, God told Joshua, I said, take courage. Yes. Don't allow your heart to break. And Jesus said, let not your heart be troubled. Yes. Believe in God, because there's going to be things that will amaze you. Mm. Things you have done, like what Anna said, you have done all your cold, they will not be able to come out, you will not see result. But let not your heart not be troubled. Quickly again, quickly again because of time, I told you I will not waste time. Let's see uh, uh, Act 14. Act 14, quickly. I know we did five minutes. At 40, you see, read there. At 40, 22. At 14, 22. Confirming the souls. Confirming the souls. Of the disciples. Of the disciples. And exhorting them. And exhorting them. Continue in the faith. Continue in the faith. As I'm leaving, me, I want you to continue in the faith Amen. and the preaching and the word of God and be firm with God. It may not be easy. Amen. It may be easy. Somebody say, if it's easy, it's not of God. I said, he said, was asking me, he said, Bishop, why is it designed like that? I said, because it's spiritually designed. Mm. If it's easy, it's not of God. That's right. Because it's spiritual and you are physical, it's going to be. So I go ahead, quickly. Quickly. And that we must, through much tribulation, through much tribulation enter into the kingdom. Into the, so I'm talking to the believers. Through much tribulation, Satan is going to persecute us. Yeah, on. Satan, you yeah. want to take your faith from you. That's okay, that's what it is. I hope you're recording. He said, too much tribulations. Much. You see what my son had to say. Tribulations from working place. Tribulations. We just finished about uh, overcoming about the car problem that they sees. About the other things he didn't talk about. Or that thing that, or that thing that they have. Before you know, that phone call came that somebody's dead. You see, you don't have plan on these things. Yeah. And if you don't have a heart to face the car problem, to face that problem, to face this problem, you say, okay, I'm giving up. I saw somebody when I went to London. He was a believer. She was a believer. He was in, I knew I knew her in the church. She was the uh, like the accountant, was the treasurer of a, a, a Pentecostal pastor. So I went there to say, How are you? Are you want to search your faith? Uh, I said, Bishop, no, I'm no more with uh, uh, Pentecostal again. I'm now with Oluba. Oluba, the new side is Christ. There's one of Christians, Oluba is in Nigeria, who says it's Jesus. It's doing magic for people. So I, I didn't, I just quiet in the two beds. Why? And I said, yes, my business was not moving before. And all the people here, they are doing magic to make no money. They are, you know, they are busy, they are increasing. Some of our businesses are going to say, ah. That's why you will leave Jesus and go to meet uh, Oluluba. My God. That's right. He said, the Bible already said, the elect, what I'm saying that, I want to get one to them. The elect are going to be deceived. Because the devil is going to use prosperity. Yeah. Somebody was telling me for that pastor, you know, let me know, speak that on the phone. There is, uh, when you are registered in the, in the, this, uh, what do you call this, uh, this, um, uh, charity. They normally have a code they give to people. Maybe say this church is registered. Is equal, uh, uh, Juma, bring two people in a year or bring one person in a year. And some pastor have the opportunity to give you, if they give code to you, that pastor must give you a visa. That is the, the government will give that, you that code. So someone was telling me that a pastor, when he brings people to here, they, after, after he has brought the people who will be in his church, the people will come and pay back some money. Hey. Yes, that is the lot of money. That's the last thing. The people that come in the barato, the people come and pay some money, but it will charge them. You say, well, I brought to this country. You know, if you want to spend money, we will spend about uh, five, seven thousand. Then I brought you, you are going to pay me two thousand pounds back. So why am I saying this? Did you like the last day we're going to have fanciful cars? Fastful houses, more money is going to be needed to leave. Let's not slide to go uh, um, uh, holiday. We're going to need money. But I want to say that, so be careful. Mm -hmm. Satan has set traps. Yeah, Many Christians are falling. Many yeah. pastors are falling. No love yeah. for them. Money, money, money. Some money. Business is not moving well. Uh, this is not moving well. We have been in this country. Somebody has done that. I'm not saying God will not prosper you. But God's prosperity is, pro, is, pro, is, a, is a process. That's right. 
come and pursue automatically. But as you work with him, as you get committed to him, as like what I be like, I, what I be preaching, as you get dogged, it may be dry now, it may not be easy now. But as you follow him in pains and whatever. Amen. One day God will say, yeah, this is your time. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 You can see this church now. Amen. It's like passing through a, a season, just a season. Yes. Yes. This is a phrase. Yes. This phrase is going to go out. Amen. Amen. When we started our church in Nigeria, it's not like here where you know. So it was a pit where we moved from where we were. We had the land. I said, let us go to that land. We will not be here and we have a land. God gave me a land when I was a chef. I was a chef staff. I, I gave the land to the church. So we just put on roof and did. I was flawed. And there was no, no, no green bare floor like that. So we put it on sand and I was sitting and said, let's move in there. We move in there, many people left. They said, that is a place not good. We start to clap. We start to sink. We start to clap. And gradually, gradually, that place was cemented. Yeah. And we paid the whole place. If you get there today now, you will think that we just built it. And those elders who are with me, we, told, we tell you the stories, what we went through. From there, many people have bought cars, built houses, living fine. But it was not so. It may be difficult at the initial time. It may not be easy with you. Sometimes it's challenging your faith. In marriage and in money and everything, it wouldn't give up your faith. Let me tell you, if you don't give up, if you remain, mm. uh -huh. The rainy day is coming. Amen. Joy is coming. Amen. Prosperity is coming. Amen. And above all, the kingdom of God is coming. Yes. Amen. God bless you. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Wow. I'm being blessed day by day. Amen. Can I hear somebody say amen? amen. I hope we are recording. Amen. Also, yes. If we are recording, huh? Eh? All right. And Bishop, they have got three cameras today. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. We well, thank God. Yes. Amen. Yes. How many people are happy to be in the house of the Lord? Yes. How many people have received something today? Amen. Amen. Yes. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Yes. There is trouble in the world. Yes. Yes. But, in the world. Yes. but in God there is peace. But in God there is peace. Can I hear somebody say amen? Yes. How I pray that I go with what has been taught today. <laughs> I go with it from uh, Pastor Arnold and Bishop. Yes. That was powerful. Can I hear somebody say amen? Pastor, can I add just a shot? Come, come, come. Nothing much. Come, no, come. Run, 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 run. Run, run, run. run, run. run, run. Come and sing time. Okay. Yeah. I just want to say that we could remember Job. Yes. When Job went through all of his troubles, God allowed him yes. to go through those troubles. But what? To double what he had before. Because... Yes, yes. Job had so much before, but in all that he went through and losing everything, God allowed that to double yes. what he had. So when we go going through trials and testings and tribulations, it's not that God has forgotten us. It is that God is preparing us for bigger things. Amen? Amen. Give God glory. Amen. Amen. God is preparing us for greater things. Yeah, yeah, Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. God is preparing us for greater things. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. God is preparing you for greater things. Any other person who wants to add something small? Okay, Pastor Harriet, quick, 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 quick. Just add something. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. anointed mm. to Cyrus mm. put your name there mm. subdue nations before mm. him mm. I'll loose the loins of kings to open before him mm. the two left gates 
and the gates shall not be shut. Yes. I will go before thee and make all the crooked places straight. Amen. I will break in pieces the gates of brass mm -hmm. and cut a thunder mm. in the bars of iron. Mm. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness mm. and hidden riches of secret places mm. that shall make know that I the Lord which call thee by name yes. am the Lord of Israel. For Jacob's my servant's yes. sake and Israel my elect I have called thee by name. I've summoned thee, though you may not know, don't know me. I am the Lord. There is no other. There is no God besides me. I gather thee, and thou shalt not know me. That you may know that from the raising of the sun to the west, and that to the, there is none besides me. I am the Lord. There is no one else. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, um... The other day, um, yesterday, I think I had a dream. Yeah, the, the day I had a dream when um, when the searchlight was was they, they had put a satellite, and that satellite was supposed we were supposed it was supposed to bring signals to us, but that's the, but this the the this. The, 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 that satellite was covered with a metal, a metal shelter. So you could see all the other side and the other side. But this side, there was a metal, the, and the signals which were supposed to bring us uh, mm. the wave, it, 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 this metal thing had closed it up so that we could not hear or receive the signals so i was wondering lord what is this lord what is this but today <laughs> i get the revelation that god will go before us and make all the crooked places straight he will break all the gates of bars of iron amen he will break Everything mm -hmm. that whatever the devil has been blocking, yes. whatever, oh. whatever blockage, oh, yes. whatever wall God had put, whatever. Amen. God has yes. broken it and will go before us and make all the crooked places straight. Yes. So at this time, it 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 has been it has been a wave as the bishop said that you could feel that you can't go through, you cannot penetrate. Praise the Lord. You could feel that something is holding, something is resisting us to go on. Praise the Lord. But the Bible says that I'll go before you. Yes. And as you are going to Kenya, God is going before you. Amen. As you are going to Nigeria, Amen. God is going before you. Amen. As we are remaining, yes. God is going before us. Amen. Amen. There is a lot of work to do. Yes. That's why even we, we did, uh, the pastor saw what is in Manchester. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of work to do. Yes. So it's high time to begin running. Yes. Praise the Lord. We've been walking and we've been sleeping. Mm -hmm. We have been like, we are giving up. This is not the time to give up. Yes, ah. Amen. Mm -hmm. This is not the time to sleep and slumber. No. If this is our time. Praise the Lord. Yeah. This is our to time as Christians to wake up and begin to take what belongs to us. Yes. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Buildings are empty. Yes. Amen. Cities, cities are in ruins. Yeah. God is not waiting for those people who don't know God. God is waiting on you and me. Mm. Uh -huh. Those of us who know God, we are going to take buildings, guys. Yeah. Yes. We are going to take cities for God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And that's why that the, there was COVID. We prayed and prayed and prayed. Until everything, the system started collapsing. You know? Why were we praying? There have been revival. We prayed for many years. Mm. When you go to Kenya, the church has grown. When you go to Nigeria, the church has grown. When you go to Uganda, the church has grown. And people are still sleeping. So this is the time to start taking possessions. Taking buildings. Taking cities back 
for God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Unless we wake up and do that, you know, that devil will hammer. Amen. Mm -hmm. We have to rise up. Yes. He said from the raising of the sun yes. to the going down of the sun. Yes. The Lord will be as you go before us. Mm. And the, and and he will show that he will show the world that there is none, no one beside him. Yes. No one that when you raise up to say something, God will confirm it. Mm. Oh. When you stand, God will go before you. Amen. To confirm what you have said. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. May God bless you. Um, um, Pastor Arnold, God bless you. Um, Pastor Osborne, as you are going to Kenya. And Bishop, as is going back to Nigeria. Praise the Lord. God is going before you. Amen. And he will make all the crooked places free. Amen. Pastor not say that. Do not worry about what you will eat. Praise the Lord. At this time, people are worried. Mm. The electricity is going up. Mm. No, 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 jobs have been closed. Yes. Things are not moving. Praise the Lord. Mm. We have forgotten the foundation. Mm. We are going to say that do not worry about mm. the system mm. of the world. Mm. Amen. Amen. Do not worry about what you eat or what will happen the next day. Mm. Because God is in control. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let the church arise. Hallelujah. Call someone. Invite someone to church. Yes. Don't give up. Don't be overwhelmed. Even don't fear. This is not the time to fear. Mm -hmm. If you are still here and you are still standing and you are still yes. confessing that Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. God is with you. Yes. Yes. God is going to use you. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. It is you that God is going to use to take the cities back to God. Amen. May God bless you. Amen. 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 Wow. Firebrand. Can I hear somebody say amen? amen. How many people are being blessed today? Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I am being blessed. Amen. Look at your other neighbor and say, neighbor, God is blessing you. Amen. It's not time to fear. It's time to stand strong amen. in the Lord. Amen. I want us to stand on our feet. Amen. We want to stand on our feet. Amen. As we are standing strong, as we are believing God, as we are trusting God, God is with us. Amen. Can I hear somebody say amen? amen? That we are going to serve God with our everything. Amen. Because we love Him. Amen. And He's a faithful God. Amen. Including our finances. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, where the heart of where the wealth of a man is, that is where his heart is. Yes. Yes. If if your wealth can serve God then it simply means that's where your heart is. Amen. Can I hear somebody say amen? amen. Money was not meant to be a master. No. Money was meant to be a servant. Amen. If you make money to be a master, you will always be a servant. Yes. Can I hear somebody say amen? amen? We are going to serve God with our finances. Yes. Through the paying of our tithes and our offering, the Lord God shall show himself. Amen. And I am sure he will never leave us nor forsake us. Yeah. Anyone who is tithing today, I want you to come and take the tithing. You are tithing. You are paying your tithe. God bless you as you do. Amen. God bless you. Come. Come, come, come. Lord, please come. Anyone giving your offering, come. God is pleased. Amen. God bless you as you do. Amen. Savior. Savior. Amen.
God that gave us to the soil, I might have more to sow again. As they bring their tithe and their offering to the uh, to the throne of grace, Holy Spirit, I'm asking you breathe upon it. In the name of Jesus, I speak life upon your offering. I speak life upon your, your seed. I speak life upon your tithe. The devourer cannot devoid. The result will come automatically by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. I speak open door. I speak the witness of heaven to, to pour out and release upon you this very week. This very week by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Can you say amen? Amen. God bless you. You can give your tithe. You can give your offering. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Amen. Has Bishop been a blessing to you? Amen. I can't see. Has he been a blessing to you the time he has been here? Yes. Are you sure? Ah, uh, are you sure? Yes. Do you love him? Yes, love him. Do you thank God for his life? Yes. Amen. Yes. I thank God for his life. He has been with us. And I've seen God using him. And the words which he speaks are words of wisdom. And let God continue blessing you, sir. Amen. I just want him to come at the front. If you have anything you want to bless him with, amen. Somebody, you have something you want to be a blessing unto his life. I want you to come and tell his life. God, we give you thanks for your son whom you have called. Lord God, you know him. You know his very heart, Lord. And Lord, we pray as you know him and you know wherever he sets out to go, whether it be home to his homeland or wherever else, Lord, we know that your presence will be ever with him. We, Lord God, we asking as you as he go, you will guide him, O oh Father. Let not him stumble, O oh Father God, but if he do, your angels will uphold him, Amen. Father God, because you have placed them there to be his servant. We give you thanks, Lord God, for his life. We give you thanks for the time he have had with us, O oh Father God, and we pray that you will give him traveling mercies as he go. And Lord God, that even if you would have him to return, Lord God, you will bring him back safely. Let him be able to do your will, O oh Father God. Strengthen him, O oh Father God, in every aspect of his life, Lord God. Bless his family, O oh Father God, on his behalf too, Lord God. Go with him. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Pastor, I pray for you. Heavenly Father, thank you. We give you thanks, Father God. Almighty, we give you thanks. We give you the praise and we give you the glory. Father God, we went before you, your man servant. Father God, he is in your hand. You know everything concerning his life. Father God, it is time, God, for him now to depart from this place. Father God, to go back and his homeland. Father God, we pray according to God to your will. Let God, the, 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 the traveling God, will be in the safe hands as we leave it in your hand, Father God. Father God, let everything concern concern his life, God, concern his family, concern his ministry, God, be directed, God, by your will in the name of Jesus. Yes. Father, God, we bless his, his spirit, his soul, his body. Yes. 
God is this your word you say to the each, the children of Israel. You say that as they put your words, God, into practice. You say that no decisions, God, mm. that ne, not God, the world will not be God. Mm. No trouble in this world, God, will affect his life. God, from the corner of his head, on see the stores, God, he is under your protection. His ministry under your protection. God, as your word just say, God, the sacred God of darkness, God, you will give him the eyes that he will see and he will enjoy God any little things that you have reserved for him, God, in his life. God, in Isaiah 46, God, verse 4, says, Father God, your word say, even in his own age, Father God, you will hold him in his hand. Yes. Father God, at his whole age, God, whatever age God you will pull for his life, Father God, I pray right now, no sickness, no hand shaking, mm -hmm. no blindness, no God, Amen. even at the 100 years, Father God, he will be able to stand, Amen. to cook, to, to bear by himself, to do whatever things he has to do. Amen. That is God, the anointing, the blessing over <coughs> his life. In the name of Jesus, Amen. according to your will, we pray. Amen. 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 Mighty God of Daniel, we come before your presence at this time. We know that you are here within us and around us. We know, Father God, that whatsoever we ask of thee, you surely grant it unto us. Father God, I pray, pray that your servant into your hand, Father God. I pray that you will ever be a strong fence around him. Let no weapon that form against him prosper. Father God, let no other spirit could arm him because of your protection. Father God, you said in your word, behold, you are with us always, even to the end of the earth. Father God, I pray that you will ever go with him in every move he make, in every step he take. Lord, I pray that you will ever move with him. And let Lord Jesus, your spirit, be the guide and the protection around him and with him always, everywhere he go. Lord, we place him into your hands for you to do the rest in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your servant. We thank you for the work he had. you sent him to do here among us, Lord. We pray that you may anoint him, use him for your glory. As the Bible says that you go before him and make all the crooked places straight. Father, it's the anointing that breaks every yoke, oh my God. Father, break every yoke that is been in his life, in his ministry, in whatever he does, oh God, Father. It's the anointing. We release a fresh new anointing that when he goes back to Nigeria, there will be a move of God. There will be something new that people receive from God. People will be set free spiritually, physically, and financially, oh God. As you are going with him, oh God, we thank you, Lord. We bless your name in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Everyone who has got something, I want you to bless it here. God bless you. Amen. Just write the amount which you are going to. Is there any person who wants to be a blessing? You want to an envelope to write any amount? Amen. You want to be a blessing to this great man of God? Amen. Hallelujah. It is biblical. When you saw it to a man of God's life, the Lord does great things. Amen. Hallelujah. Anyone who needs an envelope may not have it here now. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, uh, pastor, the pastors of the church were here. Yeah, come. Pastor, come. Yes. I want you to. This is the blessing that has come from the church to him. Amen. Hallelujah. Just, just place it in his hand. Amen. As I pray with you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you and I glorify you. I pray for your hand, you have a God rest upon this great man's life. You chose him to be your servant. 
the Lord God go before him, fight his battle, be his provider. The Lord God, he will lack nothing. And Jehovah God, you will open doors and gates and you will open things that he never expected. Great things shall it come to him. And Father God, I pray my Lord, that my, you are God who never fails us, yes. and you are God who has never failed yes. us. I thank you for the great victory that is coming ahead yes. of you. Let all the glory return back to you, yes. for it's in Jesus' mighty name. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. God bless you, Bishop. Yes. We love you. Yes. Such a blessing. Yes. Amen. Yes. I want you to stretch forth your hands towards me and just yes. pray for yes. me as I'm about to pray. Amen. Amen. Stretch forth your hands towards me and just pray for me as I'm about to pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your servant. Ramama Keribu City. Dear Heavenly Father, we come again the spirit of death Amen. in the family. Amen. We bind you, Amen. we break you, we Amen. command you to lose your hands and go in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we pray for your salvation, we pray for your deliverance, we pray for a hedge of fire Amen. around him right now Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we pray that as he goes to Amen. Kenya, he will be a light. Amen. He will shine, Amen. oh God. That he will be, um, he will be, he will, he will, he will take hope mm. to the whole place. Mm. That when he stands on God, he will stand out because of the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Mm. The Bible says that it's the anointing that breaks every yoke. Mm. Father, we release a fresh anointing mm. upon your servant. That the Bible says that you go before him and make all the crooked places straight. Mm. As he's going, Father, we pray that you go before him, O oh God. Go before him, O oh God. No weapon formed against him and his family will prosper. Mm -hmm. No powers of darkness no. will touch him. No accident, no plane crash of God. Mm -hmm. And as he's going, a God, you are going with him, and the uh, angels will go with him, or oh God. Mm -hmm. Will surround him, or oh God. Father, we place a hedge of fire around him in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Use him for your glory in mm -hmm. Jesus' name we pray. Mm -hmm. Lord, I'm asking that, Lord, there are going to be three challenges. And the Lord, after the burial, God is going to give you wisdom to deal with them. Yes. Three challenges that are waiting for you to solve. They are major. Lord, I'm asking, as you reveal it, I'm asking, you will anoint the feet of your son. You will anoint his head with a garment, with iron. As he goes to care, your fire will be around it day and night. No evil plan against you that walk. No. Before you know you are already out. Before you know you are already gone. Nobody will know your movement. Only the Lord will tell and guide you. The angel of God will tell and guide you. The Lord will tell you where to go and where not to go. Where to move and where not to move. The Lord will talk to you. God is the one sending you there and the church is sending you there. The anointing will be around you. Everything you are going to be do there will be fruitful. By the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. The church said, go. The church, the church said, go. We have sent you. And we are, as you are going, the anointing of this church is going with you. And you come back victoriously with testimony. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. God bless you all. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. Hallelujah. Have I not been a good pastor to you people? Yes. Huh? Yes. Oh, you no longer love me. Yes. I cannot hear somebody say amen. 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 Hallelujah. Now it is well I understand. Amen. amen. God is with us. Amen. If anyone wants to bless me anytime, I will be in the office. Amen. amen. So you can see me and you can be a blessing unto me. Amen. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. Amen. Who you still want to see? I cover you with the blood of Jesus. Amen. Cover family with the blood of Jesus. Amen. Cover going in with the blood of Jesus. Amen. Cover going out with the blood of Jesus. Amen. Cover everything about you with the blood of Jesus. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Surely, in Jesus' mighty name.
tonight. In the name of Jesus. I thank God for each and every one of you. And from the bottom of my heart, I love you. Yes. God bless you so much. How many will pray for me? How many will stand with me? Until we meet at the feet of Christ. God bless you all. Amen. I thank God also for our dear brother, brethren, uh, brother also. We thank God for you. Amen. He has been recording us today. God bless you. He went and bought all these wires. He brought all these wires so that he can be recording. And I hear somebody say amen. And is it not wonderful? Thank God. Thank God for Bishop as well. I see he also has a camera.